Chapter 1 Interpretation of Topographical Maps Introduction In this lesson, we will learn about Interpretation of Topographical Maps Locating features with the help of a four-figure or a six-figure grid reference Maps and their significance The Earth is a huge planet with varied relief features like mountains, plateaus, valleys, rivers, lakes, seas and oceans. Due to its enormous size and spherical shape, it is not possible to view the entire Earth at the same time. Consequently, it is not possible to represent the whole of the Earth on a flat surface. This difficulty has been resolved by using various models of the Earth like the globes and the maps. A globe. Now what is a globe? Well, a globe is a three-dimensional representation of the Earth. It is the most accurate device to study the whole Earth. In fact, a globe is the only true representation of the Earth, indicating its shape, direction, area and other features. However, a globe has certain limitations. Due to its limited space, it cannot represent physical features and other characteristics in detail. Further, topographic details cannot be shown on a globe. Therefore, to represent three-dimensional features like mountains, valleys, rivers and other geographical phenomena, special techniques are used so that these features can be drawn on a uniform basis. This art and science of mapping is called cartography. Now the word cartography has been derived from two French words, carte and graphy, meaning map and drawing respectively. Map. A map is defined as a representation of the Earth's surface or a part of it showing natural or man-made features drawn to scale on a flat surface. This description of the Earth's surface helps us to understand various types of phenomena such as soil, climate, vegetation, rivers, mountains, volcanic eruptions and earthquakes as well as their interrelationships. Thus, maps help us to obtain maximum information in minimum space. With the advancement of cartographic techniques, maps have become more accurate and give precise and greater details. As such, maps have become an indispensable tool. If you want to see all the chapters in this format, then call us in the description of the number. Elements of a map There are six basic elements of a map. Let's see what they are. 1. Title it indicates the subject of the map. Example, distribution of natural vegetation, water bodies, climate, etc. 2. Scale It denotes the relationship between map distances and actual ground distances. 3. Direction It refers to the cardinal directions, that is, north, south, east and west. Conventionally, a map is aligned with the north towards the top. 4. Grid system It is a network of lines that help in pinpointing the location of a place on a map. Usually, a grid is formed by lines of latitudes and longitudes. 5. Conventional signs These symbols are used to represent different objects such as roads, railways, rivers, canals, mountains, oceans, etc. 6. Key It explains the meaning of the symbols that are used in the map. Types of maps 1. On the basis of their size, maps can be classified as large-scale maps and small-scale maps. Large-scale maps First, topographical maps they are prepared after a careful and accurate survey of the area. In India, these maps are prepared by the Survey of India. 
They are drawn on scales of 1 is to 50,000 and 1 is to 25,000. These maps are multi-purpose and they show natural features such as hills and rivers and man-made features such as railways, buildings and canals. These maps are very useful for planning, defense, tourism, etc. Details about these maps are given later in this chapter. Second, cadastral maps. The term cadastral has been derived from the French word cadaster, which means register or territorial property. Cadastral maps provide complete details of an area, such as the boundaries of properties and individual buildings. These maps are therefore used to register the ownership of landed property by demarcating the boundaries of fields, buildings, etc. They are especially prepared by the government for administration and realization of taxes, management of estates, and identification of property in legal documents. The examples of cadastral maps are revenue maps, settlement maps, village maps, and city plan maps. Small scale maps. First, wall maps. These maps are meant to represent large areas that could be viewed at a glance. They show features like railways, roads, physical, political, relief, temperature, population, industries, and vegetation. They are used for display purposes in classrooms and museums. Second, atlas maps. I'm sure you've seen these. These maps are drawn on a smaller scale and are used to represent a whole country on a single sheet. Since these maps are drawn on a smaller scale, they give a condensed and generalized picture of different areas of the world. The features generally shown by atlas maps include relief, drainage, vegetation, soils, crops, minerals, industries, population, cities, etc. Despite lack of details, these maps are best suited for educational purposes. If you want to see all the chapters chapters in this format, then call us on the number in description. Number. Classification of maps. Second, maps can also be classified on the basis of their purpose and content as First, physical maps. These maps provide details about the natural features of an area or a country. Second, political maps. These maps portray different countries of the world along with their states, national and international boundaries, political units, and administrative divisions, etc. Third, thematic maps. These maps show all particular features or themes of the area like vegetation, climate, population, density, etc. All types of cultural maps, most of the atlas maps, industrial maps, agricultural maps, military maps, linguistic maps fall in this category. Map Projections the word projection means to transfer a figure or a picture from a transparent paper or a film to a wall or a screen. When the curved lines of latitude and longitude on the globe are transferred to a flat surface of a map, such transformation is called map projection. Map projection solves the problem involved in showing the spherical surface of the earth on the flat surface of a map. There are at present more than 200 projections in use. However, a map can preserve only one or two of the characteristics of shape, area, distance and direction. If you want to see all the chapters chapters in this format, then call us on the number in description. For more educational videos, subscribe to our channel Home Revise.